Hi, this is Ken Yingxie speaking. I'm from the Department of Energy Engineering, National United University. In this section, we're going to talk about the energy conversion efficiency. The energy conversion efficiency we've been talking about previously in the thermodynamics is mean uh, how much the conversion efficiency from the chemical energy into electricity. From thermodynamically, uh, the energy conversion efficiency is equal to delta G over delta H, the ratio of the free energy change versus against uh, the enthalpy change of the fuel cell reaction. But in reality, there's some other uh, factor had to be considered. Let's see what uh, we should be considered next. If we think uh, there's a fuel coming in, uh, feed into the fuel cell system, it might be hydrogen or hydrocarbon material. It, if it is a hydrocarbon material, it had to go through the reformer or you call the fuel processor, uh, convert the methanol or the meth methane or methanol into hydrogen and the carbon dioxide. For the hydrogen, uh, it don't need any convergency. It just need a pretreatment, uh, inc increasing the temperature from the room temperature to the fuel cell operating temperature, and then there may be the humidity had to be adjusted. Then um, those fuel will be fed into the fuel cell. Through the fuel cell uh, electrochemical reaction, the product will be the water for on the hydrogen or the, uh, for the, those hydrogen carbon dioxide will be generated hydrogen uh, water and the carbon dioxide. Also, it will release the direct current of electricity, DC power, and then some waste heat will be generated. The DC power can be go through the power conditioning, such as the inverter and the converter, and convert into a uh, high voltage alternative current. For the efficiency we consider here is uh, around the fuel cell and uh, how much the chemical reaction, the energy, chemical energy blended into the fuel cell and how much you convert into the, the electricity and then the heat. For the fuel cell, we can, can, uh, from the energy balance, how much the en uh, chemical energy blended into the fuel cell should be equal to the energy out from the DC power or the heat. But for the fuel cell, the energy conversion efficiency, we're more interested on the electricity. So we are more or less, we'll talk about the, how much the chemical energy convert into the DC power. So in this case, um, we are more interested on the, the ratio between the electricity and the chemical energy. This one can be, um, the overall efficiency can be subdivided into the intrinsic efficiency, uh, voltage efficiency, and the Faraday efficiency. We have been talk about those uh, in the next slide. For the intrinsic efficiency, that's in from the thermodynamics. Uh, we can calculate from the uh, free energy change versus the entropy change for the chemical, uh, for the fuel cell chemical reaction. But for the voltage conversion efficiency, uh, over here we're talking about the, is it, um, the fuel cell output voltage versus is ideally the uh, voltage supposed to be. In a, the real uh, fuel cell output voltage equal to the re, uh, voltage at the equivalent minus a different kind of over potential or the voltage loss, such as activation over potential, internal resistance, and the, the concentration over potential. Over here, the activation over potential also divide into the anode and then cathode activation over potential. Concentration also the anode concentration over potential and then cathode over uh, concentration over potential. This can be derived from the kinetic uh, previous section uh, we didn't talk about that this can be substituted into there and it depends on the current. So for the reversible um, 
uh, fuel cell uh, output voltage can be calculated from the thermal dynamics with a different kind of uh, fuel cell reaction and we're able to calculate the uh, equipment uh, voltage output voltage it's very interesting to see uh, even with a different kind of number of carbon hydrogen uh, the voltage almost is about a similar somewhere around one point around one volt or one point uh, between one or two volt here even the number of electron transfer are quite different it's a very interesting point here so uh, what that mean uh, the vo voltage conversion efficiency if we look at the, the cell voltage we plot cell voltage against the current or the current density then the this is at the equipment that's mean at a current equal to zero the open circuit voltage or the ideally uh, thermodynamic calculate the theoretical the cell voltage but in reality because all different kind of over potential ca cause the cell voltage decrease as long as the current with short current increase the cell voltage decrease this can be further break down into different kind of, uh, of voltage loss uh, from the kinetic sense so uh, from here we can see uh, on the cathode side or the anode side and uh, the cathode um, potential and then the anode potential at equilibrium so this one uh, 50C minus 50A equal to the uh, reversible uh, cell voltage here at zero um, over here but as long as we, we saw the current then the cathode potential drop and the potential rise and then the difference between here maybe is all this kind of turn over here mentioned here there is so-called the thermal neutral voltage the meaning of thermal neutral voltage is uh, assume if all the chemical energy was converted to the electricity then how much the voltage will, will output it's different from the uh, theoretical uh, cell voltage the cell voltage uh, not count into the waste heat let's see um, if the intrinsic efficiency from thermal dynamics is a delta G over delta H this is a free energy change of the fuel cell reaction and this is the entropy change of the uh, fuel cell reaction and then the voltage conversion efficiency equal to E over the equivalent cell voltage if the efficiency uh, those epsilon I times epsilon E and we substitute those two into this term then the delta G equal to minus NFE uh, at the equilibrium and over here this one should be can be cancel each other then we end with this equation so if we can find out the them if assume the delta H uh, also uh, all the chemical energy was converted to electricity then what is the cell out voltage here this cell voltage we call the thermal neutral voltage so divided by this two then we end with uh, uh, the actual efficiency intrinsic efficiency times the voltage efficiency equal to cell voltage divided by thermal neutral voltage for the hydrogen fuel cell um, the idea the equivalent cell voltage cell voltage is 1.23 volt and then thermal neutral voltage is equal to 1.48 volt the Faraday efficient the Faraday conversion efficiency is mean the the actual current to the theoretical current applied for a given fuel coming in uh, if they convert all the fuel was 100% uh, converted into electricity then how much current is supposed to come out theoretically but in reality some fuel may not be converted 100% uh, so actually the current uh, output from the fuel cell may be less than the theoretical current because uh, some fuel may not be converted all this into electricity some may be um, 
due to the side reaction or the like oxygen reduction reaction, they may not be uh, the number of electron transfer may not be equal to four, maybe equal to somewhere of three point five or something, or some the hydrogen uh, may not be converted completely. So uh, in that case, the uh, the hydrogen not convert then will be treated as a waste. Uh, it's supposed to generate high electricity, but it not. So this one, the theoretical current uh, can be calculated by this equation. This is delta M. That's how much fuel consumed. Uh, you feed in, you feed into the fuel cell, and divide that by the molecular weight. So that's mean uh, how much uh, fuel, how many more of the fuel was fed into the fuel cell per unit of time, per unit of time. And this is the molar feed ratio for the fuel. And the time the Friedrich uh, uh, law, then we convert into how much equivalent current supposed to be outcome by so many uh, fuel feed into the fuel cell. So th this, this, this actually current output from the fuel cell, and this is theoretical current uh, supposed to be generated from the fuel cell. 